Hey guys, this is Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Kareer. Today, let's do a very different and unusual video. Now, this is about cutting and cleaning a fish. Let's move on to mackerel. Well, it's a very popular fish in India. You get it various types. You get a Boston mackerel, you get a Norwegian mackerel, you get a Scottish mackerel. But this one is actually an Indian variant. It's called Indian mackerel or bangda. Well, beginning with the mackerel, let's first understand the parts of a fish. We have the head, we have the body, and we have the tail. We have a few fins here, starting with the spinous dorsal, the soft dorsal, the caudal or the tail, we have the pectoral fin, and we have the anal fin. It's important to snip the head apart, but especially when it comes to mackerel, there's a very peculiar way of doing it. What we need to do is right next to the stomach lining, there's a flap that opens. What we need to do is with the help of a thumb and the index finger, we need to insert the thumb inwards and pull it apart like so. Similarly, turn it over and do it on the other side as well. This is going to be extremely slippery and I suggest if you're doing it for the first time, you could use a kitchen towel or a duster. The next is to pinch the eyes out like so and pull the gut like this. Well, in any fish market, this is the basic cut and this generally is done by the fish lady before handing over the fish. The next is to snip these little hanging bits and cut the fins off. Starting with the spinous, moving on to the soft dorsal, snipping off just a little bit of the tail because that sometimes may add in to your food styling or plating. Cutting off the pectoral on either sides and finally the little bit of the anal fin. It's important to clean as you go because that is going to make the cleaning and the cutting much better. Finally, before cleaning the fish, let's give it a few gashes, like so. And finally, comes the washing part. While cleaning, sometimes you may also have to insert your index finger into the stomach lining of the fish and pull the excess bit that may have not come out initially. Make sure you wash it nicely from inside as well as outside. With this, your first cut of mackerel is ready. While choosing fish, it's always important to choose the freshest of the lot. And how do you do that? Well, there are a few tricks. Trick of the trade, if you may say. And that is to ensure that it's nice and stiff. Relatively, it needs to spring back on touch. And one is to check the gills. They should be nice and bright red. Avoid if they are brown, pale, grey or even white for that matter. Another thing is to check the eyes. They have to be nice, bright and transparent. Ensure that you do not choose a fish that is red or deep red because that may be harmful. Well, let's cut this similarly. The first fish is actually a whole fish with gashes and this is perfect for frying or for curries. The next one, what I'm going to do is cut this into fillets which is nothing but boneless meat, like so. It's important to have a very sharp fillet knife and run it like so. You need to open it and if you can hear this sound, this is actually nothing but sliding the knife right on top of the bone. Let this go through and through like so and pull it up like that. Lift this portion and continue running the knife in this manner. With this, you have a fillet which is right here. It's important to cut the stomach lining. Finally, this is what is a fillet of a mackerel. Right around this side, you may find a few softer bones. You may run a thumb like this and feel it. If you feel softer bones, you use a plucker and pull the soft bones out. Similarly, let's move on to the other side. This is how you can pull the softer bones out even using your nails. Well, give it a quick wash and your boneless fillet is ready. Like that, if you observe, if you see the bony part of the mackerel, it has minimalistic meat attached to it and most of the meat is right here as boneless. Well, on this note, let's move on to the last cut of mackerel and this is actually called stuffing. Well, Goan food has a very popular dish called Rishad and Rishad means stuffing. So let's see how to create a gash or a cavity or a pocket for stuffing. For that, you need to take the stomach part of the mackerel 
and insert a sharp knife like so. You need to create a cavity by inserting the knife right on top of the bone. The only difference between this and the fillet is that the knife does not go through and through through the meat from the other side. Well, this is the cavity that could be used as a pocket for stuffing the masalas. One final wash and this mackerel is ready to be stuffed and fried.